Hi, I'm Madhuri Gumala and I work on features enabling cross-platform and mobile scenarios with Visual Studio Team Services. Cross-platform teams have been requesting an SSH build task or extension to be able to run scripts on their Linux machines as part of their CI builds and release pipelines. We have released a new SSH task to do the same. This is a built-in task and will be available in all accounts by default. Started, you have to create an SSH endpoint and provide the required information to set up an SSH connection. You can do that by clicking on Manage, which will take you to the Admin Services page, and select New Service Endpoint and create an SSH connection. You have to provide a friendly name for the connection. The host name or IP address for your server needs to be specified, in addition to the user whom you want to connect as. The connection can be made using an SSH username and password, but the more common scenario would be to use a key pair. When using a key pair, make sure the entire private key contents are copied into this field, and the public key is pre-configured on the remote machine. Once you've created an SSH endpoint, you can select it here. I'm selecting my remote Linux server, my Ubuntu server, which I have already configured. In the task, you can choose to run a set of commands directly on the remote machine. This option is convenient to run quick commands required to configure your remote machine. For example, we could run simple commands like this. And multiple commands can be specified. Each command has to be entered on a new line. If any command fails, the build is stopped and marked as failed. So let's go ahead and save our build definition and queue a build. My build is going to run on a Windows machine and it is going to connect to my Ubuntu server and try to run the commands we have specified. Notice that all the commands are run from the connected user's home directory. To run commands from a folder other than the home directory, first run the cd command and then run the other command separated by semicolon on the same line. Running multiple commands on the same line separated by semicolon will make sure that all the commands are completed before the build is marked as failed in case of errors. For more complex deployments, the task allows specifying a shell script with any additional arguments. The task has an advanced option to fail the build on std error. By default, this is enabled. So if the commands or scripts running on the remote machine write to standard error, the task will mark the build as failed. But some tools like curl write data to std error. To handle those cases, the task allows you to uncheck this option and avoid failing the build. We are also working on a secure file copy task which will allow copying build artifacts to a remote server over SSH. We hope these two tasks together will make deployments via team services easier for teams with Linux servers. For more cross-platform integrations, check out java.visualstudio.com. Thank you.